Alright, so today, I know, I know, you probably are expecting a full-on player review, but I think this card is not worth the money. You can do Luis Suarez, who was debatably, I think, cheaper and easier to craft at the time of him being dropped. Luka Jovic, he's got more pace. That shooting, it's alright. The passing's alright. The dribbling's decent for a striker. But I just think you have better options when going into La Liga, whether it's Griezmann's once to watch, even though he has a three-star weak foot, and things like that. Especially with future stars around the corner, I would not put your coins into this card. Don't get me wrong, the five-star weak foot looks nice. The finishing looks great, and he's got good reactions, composure, and all that. So he will be able to finish around the goal. It's just, I don't think it's worth your time for an 83-rated squad, an 84-rated squad, an 85, because I believe Suarez was an 85 and an 84 and I love his card. It does. He has like 80 pace or 81 pace, and he feels so much faster. Let me take a quick look for you over here. And what is he at? It's more 79 pace, but he feels a lot faster than that. The shooting, he finishes everything in front of net. He's got lower dribbling stats in like agility and balance, and he still feels decent enough on the ball. And his passing is much better than Jovic's. And he's got the four star, and his work rates are also better. So overall, I think Suarez is better than uh, this Jovic card will end up being. So I think it's, as, as for me, I'm going to pass, and I think you guys should pass as well. This is not good value for money. You could literally just go by regular Griezmann. It'll probably do just as good as this guy, if I'm being honest. The medium medium just to turn off too. Now is, I wanted to see how much time is left, but I forgot I did him, so I can't see how much time is left on Suarez. But yeah, I think this is a hard, hard pass, and you don't need to be throwing your coins in there. Um, people will do player reviews, you can go check them out, but I don't think he's going to be anything too special. We also do have a quick another talking point. We're going to talk about how uh, Plea made it into the team of the week. So our headliner will be getting an upgrade, and also if any of you have Illicit, he will also be getting an upgrade from his team of the week card. It will take a bit, but this team of the week is pretty, pretty trash. And yeah, that's about it on the video. Uh, I would totally, totally avoid this Luka Jovic, but you could look at cashing out if you bought some fodder like me and stocked up. I haven't even shown you guys that. I did quite a bit of fodder stock on this low rated stuff, which could be up today quite a bit. I did. I might look at selling it, I might not. I did a few other things, but then I just got a few 84s, the cheaper ones, and then I got almost, uh, almost every single one of the 83s that were basically under 2.5k. And we'll look at it because people might want to do Jovic, but I more or less stocked it for future stars in preparation for that if there's a SBC or player I want to do. And with this 8K that I've looked, I'm just going to trade it back up to a few hundred K. But yeah, it's basically it today. Avoid Jovic at all costs. That's what I'm saying. And you should live by that rule.